signing in, bring you what is authentic, can never be manufactured, and 100%. So anyways, you guys, yes, I just woke up. Um, I did say I was going to make this video before the sun goes down. The sun is going down, and uh, I'm very compelled to talk about what I'm going to be talking about. But just a side note, um, I just want to uh, express like how busy this week has been for me. Um, I just finished up with my finals on Thursday, and it, first of all, it's, it feels so good to finally be done with the semester after all the stuff I've been going through with the school, just getting this stuff organized, and then just finishing up some last minute things. I also booked my ticket to go home next week, so I'm going to be leaving to go home Wednesday. Um, some I swear, some stuff, some shit better not drop off, jump off in the airport as I've been here to, about these crazy situations in the airport. Like, did you guys hear about another incident involving uh, airlines? Uh, another airline. Um, this man flying, this black man flying from Atlanta to go to Milwaukee, and because he used the restroom, he had he was he was asked to step out, and they were going to leave leave him there, but he did not want to leave, rightfully so, because it's like they didn't give him a reason why they wanted him to step off the plane, and I'm going to be covering that in another video, but it's just crazy how these airlines are just like. What people don't know is, I mean, people don't have to ride these airlines like that. There's other options. I personally would go with Southwest or something like that until they do something crazy. But like I said, that airlines, I forgot what it was, but uh, I have an article about it. And it's, it's to my knowledge... As far as I'm concerned, that it's canceled for me. <laughs> I'm not going on any American Airlines, United Airlines, forget that. And this airline, I'm pretty sure it may be, I think it's Alaskan? I don't know. But once I find out, it's canceled. But anyways, I'm going to do that video next time. But yeah, I'm excited to be going home next week. I'm going to be welcoming a new family member, so I'm happy about that. And uh, to find, to, just to get some fresh air outside of just being in Atlanta. George, Atlanta is cool, but it's like, it just feels good to go back to a habitat where you don't have so much stuff going on. You can be free amongst people that you know, that you love, and just have some fresh air and just get out of the chaos which is Georgia sometimes it's it's just gonna be good but anyways I don't want to make this a long rap uh, rant that it's not supposed to be but so I'm gonna get into this topic shout out to my friend who I just connected to who's been uh, who we've been you know kind of um, giving ideas back and forth um, and we also happen to follow each other on social media and as a fellow ally who gave me this topic that we're going to be talking about, gave me this idea and, you know, gave me, said, you know, you should talk about this. And so I appreciate this. Um, and uh, it, it's going to get, it, it's something that needs to be talked about. It's an issue in the community. Um, if you happen to be have any of these characteristics as far as you know you don't value yourself you self load uh, you self load yourself you don't find value in people who look like you um, you're on code with more of a white supremacist you have low self-esteem you're so quick to throw those of your community under the bus than to actually throw the real per perpetrators. And yes, some of us do co-sign to our own detriment and do uplift the 
notion of us not being worthy, but some of us are trying to uh, rise above that and really come up as a people and change the uh, present status of what is black people today and the disenfranchisement of black people today, as well as other people of color. If you happen to be a lowly rodent who will sell out your own people at the expense of a white supremacist out of self-hate, you probably are a coon and an agent of white supremacy. That is the topic of my video. The ones who may be in the sunken place, you guys. <laughs> if you watched Get Out, those who are in the sunken place, those who have no sense of self, those who don't love themselves, don't love their mamas, don't love their fathers, certainly do not love people who look like you or their own women or men, okay? Who identify and subscribe to white supremacy, white racism, people. A black person who is a coon, basically. Um, I noticed this as I was, um, I was going through, uh, I was working and, you know, I, I got the story about the man, about a man being, another man being threatened or kicked off an airline, an airplane, because he had to pee. I mean, this, this country is so stupid and a lot of, why are all these airlines acting up? I know for sure I'm going to be fine sometimes next week. If they pull that shit, I swear I will be raising hell. I don't play when it comes to customer service. I don't play when it comes to that. And it's just crazy how you're hearing about all these things. But anyways, yeah, um, I, was, I came across this article about how recently, did you guys hear that they're uh, going through a whole dismantle of... Um, white supremacist statues and memorabilia, historical monuments that are in some of these southern cities, southern states. Um, one of the, one of the uh, um, places of concern that it was talking about was in Louisiana and how they were trying to get rid of a um, monument uh, that represents the Confederacy, a statue of a Confederate art, um, uh, a confederate, uh, what do you call it? Army man, whatever. <laughs> I can't think, you guys. A confederate soldier. There you go. And as well as um, some memorabilia, one being a, um, a flag, a uh, confederate flag. And a uh, side note, did you guys hear about how a student, a black student, the only black student in an all-white school, how a teacher put the Confederate flag on the student's desk and tried to make that an example, like, I guess, some type of example of racism and how that, it, it just, and then these uh, students, these teachers, having mock slaves, like mock reenactments in which the students who are who are black act out as slaves or for sale on the slave block and they have white students bidding and stuff and then a, a white student a racist beast um, snapping two students uh, and putting up an ad for Craigslist saying that they had two slave gals for sale I mean Listen, I'm beyond the conversation that racism does not exist. And there are black people who still act as if racism, how they're surprised that it would affect them. I think I talked about that in my last, one of my last videos in which we see all this that happens and we kind of like, overlook it. Some of us who, who, who 
don't think it's going to happen to them that day or the next day, but it could happen. It rightfully will happen the ne not the next day, probably a month or a year from now, but it'll, it can happen to us. Once you ignore one injustice, there, uh, uh, listen, there's just so many things that are it, that could open, um, so many things that are left to follow, and eventually it will be you. And I just don't understand with all that the information that we see out there, all this technology that we see, all these this information that's put out there, how some people my age, black people, black young men and women, and even older, don't even know what their ancestors went through and don't even know with all the stuff that's been covering how racism they still say how racism how how could racism still exist you think just because you're not forced to work somebody's house plantation you don't see people well people they're finding out that there's men and women being strung up from trees and they're saying it's suicide, which I don't believe that bullshit. But you don't see a public lynching and you think that racism is... Oh, listen, it may not be lynchings from trees. It may not be public lynchings. It may not be uh, forced servitude, slavery... You may not be uh, forced to be raped by some sick pervert devil, but you might as well call it a public lynching when you see people like Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, um, I mean, Philandro Castile being shot in the street, black people being shot in the street, being, being brutalized. Just, just carrying on their day, their business, and then being approached by a racist, infiltrator, white supremacist cop. So, I don't get why some of us in the community act as if they're oblivious to why there's still racism. If a country has been founded on this, it's not going to solve itself within itself. It, there needs to be a system, a general rule, uh, a way of of a revolution or something, dialogue or something. First of all, everyone has to acknowledge that there still is racism. There needs to be dialogue that there's still racism. And you have to stop with the bullshit and be honest with yourself. But this leads me to the oblivious and sometimes just ignorant, self-hating, loathing agents of white supremacy supremacy. Now I mentioned people uh, like the Stacey Dashes, the Raven Simones, the uh, Charles uh, Bar Bar Barley, Barkley, whatever, Michael Jordans, the Coons, like Don Lemon, um, who, what else? Um, Little Wayne's, the Young Thugs, the bed winches, other bed winches, uh, queen, uh, shea butter, whatever. The ones who, who over, who, who go way overboard with just the swirling agenda. And I'm not saying that I don't agree with interracial dating. You, you do what you want to do. I know, I believe, I have people in my family who are product of interracial, I'm product. We're all, I mean, I'm all mixed up. And those people, I have, I have beautiful unions from it, but I'm talking about those who get with, you have those who are black and only get with these white supremacists and otherwise and vice versa. People getting with someone just because of a color, that's a problem. Because you have to think, if you constantly see someone getting... they Not only that, like what you like, but why is it 
always when, for example, you see a black man who wants to get with the white woman, he has to trash the black woman. He's with the white woman, but he trashes the black woman. I don't get that shit. If you're with somebody, get with them and then just shut your fucking mouth. Like, why do you have to explain to the world like anyone gives a shit that why the white woman is this and that and all this bullshit? Just self-hating, attacking those of your community, a woman who looks like you because you hate your fucking stupid ass self. You, you don't like yourself. You need to find yourself, know yourself, love yourself. Love those those women uh, that you come from, basically. And it, 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 you look stupid because when someone is talking about someone in their own <laughs> community, it's a reflection on them. It shows, I mean, these people, other races, these other people look at us who do that like damn like we really were being praised and literally you're trashing your women and the men who you come from that means you don't value yourself <laughs> that's what i think these fools are lacking that basic critical thinking model i mean it's like you don't realize how pathetic you look and the black and black women too, who always talk, oh, I'm gonna get me a white man because black man ain't shit. Listen, I've heard of it and it just looks like some pathetic self hate shit. And just bitter, bitter shit, bitter, bitter, just childish shit because someone uh, upset you in the community and you wanna just project your stupid self-hate to the world. The bed wenching and cooning and bucking needs to stop. Um, and so, yeah, that leads me to that story. You know, in Louisiana, there was this woman, Queen, she was Auntie Ruckus. That was Auntie Ruckus. This uh, woman, she was a conservative woman, I guess, vowing not to dismantle these racist monuments of the confederacy and she was literally campaigning on face i saw a video in which she was right there she had a <laughs> she had a confederate flag shirt on just looking like a freaking fool just looking like a fool like you're sh literally shitting and and th that's such disrespect to your own ancestors. It was just disgusting. People like that are more harm in the community than good. And they need to be ostracized just like these white supremacists and these evil racist people who subscribe to that. I mean, there's nothing more, uh, more disgusting to me. More so than a, a evil racist person white supremacist person too as well but what's even worse is a a, a a black person who coons and doesn't even love themselves like you have to think about how what psychological damage what psychological thing is going on in someone's head like that and i know a lot of people have stockholm syndrome a lot of people have been conditioned to think that anything other than uh, white isn't right, and that every the white white is the savior when it's not. It's it, everybody. Everybody should be looked at for what their their deeds are, not a model that set up itself to condition people to think that they're good while everything while everybody else is bad and <laughs> yeah just know people like that yeah, you're a coon you're in a sunken place you're just disgusting and you need to get some help it's, it's not cute you look like you don't value yourself trash you're going to be ostracized from the community 
Um, the people that you subscribe to don't even really care about you. They're using you. And once they, like we see with the Stacey Dashes and the other people, they will discard you like trash and rightfully so. But don't come to the people who love themselves. Don't come for your people when you were steady bashing and trashing those in the black community trying to make a difference and do something and think that you're going to have a safe haven. No. We don't this generation does not forgive forgive does not pray we're not going to pray and we're not going to forget. If you're a self-hating coon, get get some help and exit. Until then, if you're not about uplifting your community first, and then hopefully addressing the big issue, coming to a collective, then we can talk. But yeah, people, these uh, white agents, white supremacists, agents of white supremacy, you guys are disgusting. You guys look like fools. No one can really truly value you. Because you don't even value yourself. So yeah, you guys. I just wanted to make this video real fast. It's getting dark. So yeah, share, like, subscribe. You literally just saw it go down. Literally. And the sun went down. <laughs> but anyways, I'll talk to you guys. Have a good rest of the weekend. As we enter into May. Alright. Peace and love, you guys. And stay true to thyself.